I thought it was a um, a well played game overall by our team. We obviously got a chance to get a lot of guys some reps, which we needed after uh, not playing and, and those guys being home for four or five days. Um, so you know, please, we took care of business today. That's with a team who's who plays in our league that's supposed to contend at some level. Uh, is supposed to do, and so we'll take it, knowing that um, the challenges become much greater moving forward. How nice was it to have Isaac back? Uh, and I don't want to kid ourselves and, and say that it wasn't significant. It was. Um, you know, the truth is, I told our team on Friday, I believe it was, that you know, we can't be a team that can be that drastically different because of one guy. Now, he has an impact on a lot of things, uh, but the thing I was most frustrated with while he was gone was our defensive um, numbers and focus. We were, we were, I think, averaging giving up less than 60 with him in the lineup. And then that number jumped in our losses, even though we held Houston to less than 60, um, to over 80. And as good as he is, he shouldn't have that much impact on our defense. So I was pleased to see us get back to, and obviously with him, having the type of defensive intensity that we needed. But he makes the game easier for a lot of guys. Uh, he brings a confidence and a competitive edge to us that um, we don't have a ton of yet right now because a lot of our younger guys just don't understand what it takes to compete every play yet. I think I know the answer. I'm going to get to this, but how important was it to have this game where it is on the schedule? They're probably one of the one of the worst teams that you're going to play this year, but how important was it to have it the, the game before your Big 12 start? Uh, for me, it was more important that we had it, the game after being away for a week. Um, you know, the, the league schedule kind of changes from year to year, so you don't know when you can fit that last game in. A couple of those years, we didn't have an opportunity to have a game after Christmas before league play started. Um, so it, it was good to be able to play a game where, again, everybody got reps. It was good for Ice to get some reps before going into conference play. play. Uh, we are able to keep him right about where we wanted to in terms of minutes. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's important. Scheduling is, is, is a tricky thing from year to year, and so um, – I like that this one showed up where it did and that we were able to do what we needed to do to, you know, A, get a win and, and B, play well enough to have some confidence going into next week's preparation. You mentioned getting to use your bench. That's something you've done kind of a lot this preseason. Do you expect to continue to use all your guys going into Big 12 play? No, we'll, we'll certainly start narrowing, um, you know, like I said, from game to game, who those, who seven, eight, nine are, it's kind of start to crystallize a little bit, but you know, it'll depend certainly on the game um, situations as well, foul trouble, um, style of play, and all that, th those type of things. So uh, we'll continue to search for which guys that we can feel consistently can come in off the bench and help us. But we feel good where, right where we are with probably one through seven right now. Uh, who eight and nine is from a game to game standpoint, you know, may depend on how the game is. On that alley-oop for Cam, I said he considered going up for the layup, but then ended up passing it to Cam. What is it like for you to see plays like that where Isaac gives it to the teammates and kind of energizes the whole team? Well, he knows that's part of his job is to help his teammates have success. Um, and it's one of the things that he's, he had to learn um, a year ago. He didn't quite understand it, but he's got a full grasp of it now and it does a really, really good job. Those guys all feel much more comfortable when he's out there because, you know, for instance, you know, Thomas gets seven threes off today. I think they were all really good looks, and I'm not sure if more than one of them was from not from a pass from him. So uh, we had a game where Ice was out where he got one shot off the whole game. So it uh, shows the impact that he can have in terms of helping his teammates um, achieve some level of success out there. That alley play started with Lindy on the ground, up 20. Just how important is that for a senior to, to be able to do that for you? Yeah, we talk about it all the time. Scoreboard is um, it's just it's a secondary factor to us. Um, what we do, how we do it, has to be a constant, no matter what the score is or the opponent, where the game is. That's probably the most disappointing thing from our game last week. Uh, not that we lost, although I hate losing. It was I don't think we played in a manner that's respectable for our, our program. And uh, we certainly did that today. Lindy's diving on the floor up 20 in the first half as an example of that. Uh, and that continues to, to um, preach the message to our young guys that, you know, this is how we do it. This is who we are and what we're about. And uh, something that those guys will be able to learn from. Jonathan had, I think, four offensive rebounds today. Kind of seem, Does it seem like he's kind of settling into what his role can be? No question. Uh, he's been really good uh, for about a two and a half week stretch now. Um, you know, 
I think right going into finals week is where you started to kind of figure out, okay, this is what I need to do to help this team. And then sometimes it takes a little while for a new guy, even though he's a grad transfer. He only has one shot at this thing, you know, so I'm trying to balance the, the need for him to feel like he needs to have some personal success with making some sacrifices for the better good of the team. Uh, he's completely bought into what we needed to do to help us win, and, and therefore he's been playing more and playing better. Put him in for your after yours early foul. Is that something you're comfortable playing with him at the five, or is it kind of a case by case basis depending on? Who yeah, Cam prob Cam Moore you moves to the five, um, but it gives us a different kind of look. Uh, makes us more um, flexible, I guess, defensively. We can switch more and not feel like we're losing much because both him and Cam can move their feet and guard perimeter players. Um, and we lose some length and shot blocking ability, but we still have some toughness and rebounding in there. So. I like when I can play both of those guys, and then they both can space the floor because they're both capable three-point shooters. Isaac said in his first couple days back that Avery was really taking it to him in practice. Is that something that you saw from, from Avery? Yeah, it was good. I mean, uh, those those things are really positive for us. I mean, we need uh, those competitive um, situations, that competitive atmosphere in practice every day, um, not only so that they can get better, so that they're prepared, because that's how teams are going to try to attack us in, in, in a game situation. So. Um, Ice needed it, but Avery needed it also, um, and Dee needed it, and, and our whole team just needed that competitive energy in the building, and, and they provided it for each other, and Avery certainly helped Ice get prepared for the opportunity today. What do you think now, just going into Big 12 play, what is the main message you're trying to give to the team? Don't look too far ahead, and don't ever look back. <laughs> um, one possession at a time, one half at a time, one game at a time, when it's over, Deal with the result, move on to the next one. Um, every challenge is just as great as the last one, is, and the next one will be just as you know, just, just as good as that one. So um, get, get our guys, the young guys who haven't been through Big 12 play up to speed on the physical toll that it takes on you, um, but also the mental grind to know that you, you're not going to look through the schedule and say, all right, we're going to have a chance to kind of coast on this one. Nope. Every night you got to strap it on and bring it. How do you? Simulate that, I guess, in practice these next couple. Of weeks. Just again, creating you know an environment where the intensity is is like that in practice. Our staff's got to create that atmosphere, um, and we we'll, we won't have any reason not to be ready for the first one. We're talking about the defending defending national runner ups, defending conference champion, uh, a team that has had unbelievable success um, in the last three years, really, uh, since Coach Beer has taken over. So we got a lot of respect for them and. And certainly expect a great atmosphere because of what they've done in the last few years in their building. Um, but I'm excited about seeing our guys prepare for it for the next week. Free throws are always something you guys harp on a lot. Shot well today, especially your, I think he was six for six or eight for eight or something like that. Is that is that a promising sign? Yeah, I mean, your shot free throws pretty well this year. Um, I don't jinx it, but um, you know, he's found a nice rhythm and a routine that he feels comfortable with. And um, my emphasis with our team is we got to continue to get there more. We've been a team that sometimes relied on jump shots too much and haven't been able to shoot as many free throws. But we got to take advantage because we do have really good free throw shooters. Um, so, you know, Cam and, and JL, even though we want them shooting threes occasionally, they got to start their work inside because they're both very good free throw shooters. Yours becoming a better one, Isis making his, and then obviously Thomas and Lindy, we usually count on uh, making all of them. So uh, we got to get there more and more consistently and, and give ourselves more chances for easy points. You mentioned, I think, after the first or second game that Isaac missed that. You know, that could affect your Isaac not being there. Just like in what ways is it, you know, a guy driving into the lane more is that affect his foul trouble? Or in what ways can that affect your Isaac being Yeah, yeah. Home? So so Ice, <clears throat> Ice is a guy who, is, I mean, he's hard to beat off the dribble. Right? So we don't have to play in rotation as much because um, he's our best on-ball defender. You know, Avery's good. Just physically still people can get into his body and take advantage of him sometimes. Ice can hold his own and keep a guy from getting in there. And it takes you out of position where he has to rotate as much. So uh, he also can give confidence to our other perimeter guys that he's going to be a good you know, guy. Who, they, they don't have to guard the primary ball handler for the other team. Um, so again, it's a trickle-down effect throughout the whole, whole roster. He brings a, just competitive energy and confidence to everybody.